after Hitler invaded Poland in 1939, in America, there were Hitler enablers like the American hero Charles Lindbergh, who publicly championed the big lie that England was a strategic liability to the United States, was the cause of world war, and that England needed to be dumped. Today, there is a new crop of fascist enablers by the names of Walt and Mearsheimer. These neo Lindberghs espouse an analogous big lie that Israel is a strategic liability to the U.S., the cause of Middle East wars, and that Israel needs to be dumped. I will now graphically show you in three simple steps with my materials that these professors are, in fact, neo Lindberghs. Step one, if you would look at the eight and a half by 11 colored graphic of Israel, in any West Bank Palestinian state, Hamas will smuggle in thousands of chemical war-headed katushas into the West Bank. Katusha rockets, the same rockets that fly from Gaza, carry chemical warheads. And they will launch them en masse into Tel Aviv. Imagine if to placate Muslim anger, some U.S. president ceded Brooklyn to Al-Qaeda, and Al-Qaeda Brooklyn had thousands of chemical katushas aimed at Manhattan, Manhattan would be toast. And if there was ever a Palestinian state, Hamas with thousands of chemical katushas backed by Iranian missiles would toast the Tel Aviv coastal corridor holding five million Jews. Step two, for this, I need everybody to turn to the 11 by 17 large graphic. Step two, after Israel's destruction, without Israel protecting him, the Hashemite king, King Abdullah of Jordan, is also toast. Then what you've got is in Egypt with 80 million hungry people, the strongest army in the Middle East, and the Suez Canal now having a direct contiguous land border with the oil-rich Saudi Arabia. Is this stability for U.S. CENTCOM? Is this lower gas prices in Salina, Kansas? But no, we're not done yet. Step three, if you turn to the back of that graphic, I've done the same analysis for the Eastern Med. Christian Greek Cyprus has a total of 800,000 people, and there is about a quarter trillion dollars worth or more of gas between Cyprus and Israel. If Israel were to be destroyed, surrounded by 150 million Muslims and a Turkish standing army of 400,000 soldiers coveting the whole of Cyprus, how long? will Cyprus last? In September 2011, just two months ago, month and a half ago, Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan stated, Turkey and Egypt would form a force 150 million strong, and we are substantially surrounding a Mediterranean. And he also said, I recommend the international community take the necessary lessons from the Pervesa victory. For everybody who doesn't exactly know what the Pervesa victory is, the Pervesa victory to which Erdogan was referring is the Turkish decisive naval victory over a pan-Christian Holy League Papal Alliance in September 1538. Without Israel as the bulwark against a waxing Islamic tsunami to the east, there will be a direct Islamic military threat to the very doorstep of Europe. Without Israel, how many trillions, trillions of dollars will the U.S. have to spend to defend Greece and NATO from such a clear and present danger to Western civilization? Or, 
as the visa commercial would say of Israel's present day strategic value to the U.S., priceless. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.